What's up guys, Erroneous here with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Uh, this is going to be a video on Boosted Summons event. So we're going to be pulling Sacred Shards. We're going to be pulling possibly some Void Shards as well. And we're going to go through the tournaments and events right now that are going on for Emic Trunk Heart. I'm really hoping I can get something good today for you. So let's get into it. All right, guys, first things first. Emic Trunkhart, fantastic champion. They did nerf him a little bit on his A1, so he's not going to be created mainly for the Infinity anymore, but he can be still utilized in an unkillable clan boss team. Still a strong champion, still can be utilized in Shogun's Grove, still can be utilized on defense and arena, and general progression in the game as well. So I'm definitely going to go for this guy on this free-to-play account. This is my free-to-play main account. If you haven't been watching, I've been playing for over three and a half years, going on four years now as free to play. Uh, we still don't have our wonderful Ramantu, but we're getting close. We only have 15 more missions here, but I'm stuck on this stupid mission. Clear stage 21 of Knight's Revenant Crypt. So that's going to take a little bit of time. Five more days until Knight's Rev opens back up. Stupid stall missions, man. They need to allow us to purchase and open up faction crypts like 200 gems, similar to the keeps, the dungeon keeps. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. So right now for tournaments, how am I doing? Champion training, we do have that going on right now. Uh, I haven't really farmed it a lot at all today because I was working. But now that I'm back home, I'm going to be farming a lot overnight. And I'm going to do some dragon runs with my Bad El Kazar and then farm food at the same time because I do have dragon going on. I, was, I already completed dragon, um, but I wasn't doing it with food, which you really should be doing it with food. That's what I should have done as well. I should have just did it with food the whole time. It would have taken me a lot longer, but honestly, I finished it in one day. So wasn't too bad. I did get a few new pieces of speed gear, but it's a matter of will I roll triple or quad roll on speed? Hopefully I can get my first ever quad roll. That'd be fantastic. Next, we've got classic arena in 10 hours. That should be super easy for anybody. For events, summon rush, that's gonna be for today. We need 3000 points. I mean, it's like, it's okay, but it's still a lot. It's still a lot. Honestly, in this day and age with the game, of course, you're going to see Plarium try to push the dungeon divers, the summon rush events. All these events and tournaments are going to be pushed further and further down the line when it comes to how many points you need to get fragments versus rare champions, because they're trying to basically abide by their players that are existing. They're trying to really, you know, um, help those players out or not help them rather basically go okay well i see that a lot of our player base is one year two year or three years in and i can see that our player base is getting smarter right over time everybody's learned to save their shards a lot more everybody's learned to stack up and hoard shards and obviously they know this they probably can sense they probably have some type of metrics or some type of algorithm that can see how many shards people are having on a on average i'm assuming and they can convert that into, okay, how much do we need to now put a rare champion or a fragments um, down in events, down in tournaments to make it harder for the player base so that they are gouging our resources because they need to make money somehow, right? So it is a business at the end of the day, but it's a free game. You can still free to play. I've been doing it for almost four years. I still love the game. You know, obviously it has its quirks. It has its pros, its cons, like any other game. So the next thing up, Dungeon Divers event. That one's almost done. This is definitely the hardest in my opinion, Dungeon Divers. With the 2X gear from Dragon, you should be able to complete it if you have the resources. If you don't have enough energy, it's a problem because then you have to dip into gems and then you'll run out of gems really quickly. So for early game and mid game players, this is gonna be a little bit challenging. So that's where a lot of players end up spending money because a lot of times they spend money on either gems for more energy or they spend it on shards so it's usually dungeon divers or it's the summon rush and champion chase that people fail at the most let's get right into pulling these shards i don't know if i have much space i do have 11 slots open so i'm thinking how many should i pull summon rush we've got 3000 and it's 500 per sacred voids are 120 each I have seven voids, that's 700, uh, 840, and then 
let's see, I would only need to pull four, maybe five. Maybe I'll pull five sacreds. But if I get six sacreds, hmm, maybe I'll pull six sacreds and my voids. We'll think about it as we're going through, though. Maybe even five. You know, let's do the voids first. Right now, we've got uh, ten times chance for a Krizia, which is insane. Also, ten times chance for Trunda, for Mashald. I already have him. Walking Tomb Drang. I actually didn't go for this fusion because I didn't need him. I already had enough HP burners for a Spider and whatnot. And then, of course, Walking Tomb Drang ended up being crazy good for different areas of the game. Trunda still an amazing champion. Definitely insane for Hydra. I definitely want a Trunda. But Akrizia is where it's at. Shamal, I also want Shamal. Uh, he's a really strong champion, Hydra as well. But I really, really, really want Godseeker and Eerie for Sand Devils Necropolis. So let's do this. In regards to these champs here, I already have Husk. I already have Royal Guard. I already have Geomancer. I have two Geomancers, two Husks, two Royal Guards. Honestly, you could go for three each if you wanted to build them, but... I feel like having two of them on your account is just fine too. Unless you're trying to make certain comps for Hydra or whatever. But, or you're trying to put certain champions in certain gear for certain dungeons or whatever you're going to be, use them, be using them for content in the entire game. So anyways, without further ado, can we get something good? Come on. Give us something here. Rare. Alright, by the way, I am at 53 now, 54 void shards into my pity tracker. So we'll be at 60 if we don't get anything. Paragon, Mr. Paragon Cheese, very good for the campaign. Yo, okay, what do we got here? Got Malbranch, meh. Come on, give us something here. Please give us at least an epic, please. Come on. Are we going to get all rares? Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Please, please, please don't do this to me. You guys already know I'm terrible at pulling shards with, oh my God, another Paragon. Oh my God. All right. So let me change my pity tracker here. Now we're now at 60 voids into my pity tracker. Again, most unlucky content creator for pulling shards and getting something out of void shards. It's ridiculous. It's okay though. What can you do? We're just going to go all the way till pity yet again. Sacred shards. Let's do this. I'm 11 into pity. Okay. We got our first one. Oh, oh. that's, that's awesome. That is awesome. That is so awesome. The first one. No way. Okay. That made me a little happy. It's fine. See the voids, the void shards. It's out of my mind now. It's out of my mind. Look at that. We got fire gun Isbel. Man, she's part of the fusion, and we need four of her. She's a bomber. So I could end up going and keeping her as a copy if I wanted to get the other four copies. Or I could conserve some resources, especially for, like, the next uh, champion chase, for example. Because I think there's three summoning events or, you know, summon tournaments throughout the, entire, uh, the entirety of this fusion. So this is pretty awesome, man. Dang. All right, that's exciting. I really like that. So technically, if I wanted to, I could just stop pulling shards if I really wanted to, because that's already four. Let me just take a look here. That's insane. That's so lucky. No way. Well, you can't really tell from this fusion calendar. This is not really a fusion calendar, but summon rush the fourth to the seventh. That's 25 fragments and you need 100 fragments for each one, right? So one, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, so there's 16. I could literally skip out on four. One, two for Tramp and Training. Three for Dungeon Divers. And four, another Dungeon Divers, if I wanted to skip out and not worry about going for a copy of Fire Gun. Man, and we still got more shards to pull. I got, I could do three more. And then maybe I'll save the rest. Because I kind of want to save for two times sacreds. Or maybe they come out with a guaranteed. But honestly, I wouldn't have enough sacreds to begin with for a guaranteed. Because a lot of times they're 15 or 20 sacreds. 
but uh hey we'll take it we will take it we're now at 12 into my pity let's do this come on got another epic we've got zelata okay very old champion sleep shield another sleep he's actually he could be decent for uh sand devils necropolis if you wanted to try him there all right number three another epic we got Virgis. he can actually solo scarab boss on like the first that i think it's floor 10 or floor 20 as well as floor 50 or 60 i think the first two of the um, hard doom tower scarab boss he can solo if you have really good gear that is all right so that's uh how many did i just pull three we got one more here come on another epic okay end of moonbeam i i seem to pull this guy all the time like i always pull this guy i think i already have multiple copies of him let me just double check though yeah i have multiple copies and he's part of the faction for not shadowkin but sylvan watcher i have two now all right i think i fed one of them though but that's fine we'll put him in the sylvan watchers guardian ring here that's totally fine so that's four I could pull more, but let me just see where we're at in the summon rush. So we're already pretty far. We're already pretty far ahead here. Got an epic skill tome. We're very close to getting Enda or Fire Gun. Yeah, let's go ahead and do another. Let's do another one. Let's make some room really quickly, though. All right, so we've got room for a couple more pulls here. So I've pulled four now. Let's go ahead and pull the fifth one come on another epic another husk so the 10x is working for my epics of course it always works for epics right um so that's now i'm at 16 sacreds in to the pity do i want to pull one more for that xp barrel i could pull one more i do got the fragments now i'm at the fragments so that's good i kind of want to go for this five star chicken too i'm going to be honest with you Five star chicken's pretty nice. We've pulled five. I'm gonna get another sacred shard tonight. So that's helpful from Doom Tower. Don't don't forget to farm Doom Tower if you're working on hard mode. So I'm gonna get another five star chicken, another sacred shard here. So maybe I'll pull one more. Just one more. I I, I want at least one more. But I'm really kind of wanting that that chicken. How many more would I have to, I have to pull? So I'd be at 3,800. I would need to pull three more and then pull mysteries. And do I really want to do that? I mean, I could because technically, technically I just pulled the fire gun so I could just pull and get that, that chicken. You know what? Let's do it. Let's pull. Let's get the chicken. This will be number six. We got a legendary. And we've got Boragar. Ugh, it's not even a 10x. Come on. Boragar. Okay, what does he do? Attacks one enemy, 50% chance of placing a 60% increased defense for one turn on an ally with lowest HP. Will not be placed on this champion. 100% chance instead of the attack is critical. Meh. So basically, you have to build this guy. He's so slow. Wait. That's, that can't be his right speed. He's five star right here. Um, removes one random debuff from all allies, then places a shield buff on all allies for two turns, equal to 20% of this champion's max HP. That's okay. I'm gonna have to check out his actual HP and whatnot. Increased resistance and 30% increased speed buff on all allies for two turns. That's not bad. Allies receive 10% less damage from champions whose resistance is lower than or equals to theirs. That's pretty cool. Resistance in all battles by 50. Okay. That's an interesting kit, but I don't really like the ability right here where you have to put 100% crit rate if you want to always land the increased defense. I probably still wouldn't build him with 100% crit rate, but uh, Boragar is a new champion for me. I'm just very surprised that uh, that's what I'm getting, and it's not the 10x for legendaries. Again, I never hit 10x legendary champions. I usually always hit the epics, but that's fine though. I still got a legendary. I was really hoping for Trunda. It's all right though. So that was six shards pulled. So we've got to reset our pity here. So we pulled 
our mercy was 17 sacreds. So we're back down to zero. Do I actually want to keep pulling? Uh, let me just check where that chicken is at. So we got the XP barrel. We are at 3850. We pop another one. We have to pop two to be at 4850. And then I just have to pop a bunch of mystery shards. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and do it. And we really want that five-star chicken, honestly. I want it for champion training. So there's one. We've got Mausoleum Mage, strong champion. He's still very strong. Next one, another epic. Okay. Doom Priest, also very strong champion, but I already have her. Plenty of copies. All right. So now we're two in on the Sacreds. Put that on my tracker there. And for Dwarves, of course, we got Fire Gun. That's very helpful for me. And then for Summon Rush, we're very close. We just had to pop some Mysteries. We should be good there. 75 mysteries to pop. And then we'll get a five-star chicken on top. There we go. So not bad. I mean, we did okay. We got ourselves fire gun. Very, very exciting. Was able to get that, which helps us towards this fusion. I mean, let me know in the comments down below. Did you pull fire gun or maybe did you pull Emic from cart? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck on your shard pulls. And I will see you on a video soon. Peace.